Well, Tanya, it's really too bad they spelled your name wrong. I feel really bad about that. Please do come in. I'm, uh, welcome to my daycare center. It, I think you'll find it most charming. Oh, I, I beg your pardon, Irma. Yes, it is called the Tanya Jones Daycare Center, but, well, no, I can't exactly change it to the Lucy Jones Daycare Center. No, that wouldn't be right. Edward, please come in closer to me. Um, I want you to notice this table. It's particularly wonderful because it's designed after your boardroom. That's right, Eddie. M may I call you Eddie? Is that all right? Lunch. I would love to do lunch with you. Yeah, we can go over more of the daycare design ideas that I have. Oh, uh, Amanda, yes, that was your idea over there with the pillows. But the rest of it, basically, um, everyone, was my idea. I, I, I sort of designed it all after my fantasies as a child. And, well, she did help a little bit, that's true. I, I beg your pardon, Steve. You're right, you're right. I do think this reflects very well on Tony and I. I mean, look what I've done with all of this. Certainly, this will make us look like the couple that will take your place. Well, thank you. I appreciate it. Well, you know, you are right. Um, Bobby and Felicia did sort of come up with this idea originally, but I'm sad to say that they never did have any way of getting it off the ground. I did. I think I did an excellent job. Don't all of you? Well, thanks so much for coming. Um, oh, do come back and visit any time. I'll be here making many more wonderful plans for us. Ta-ta. Amanda. Oh, hello. Um, hi, Mr. Quartermain. Lucy, dear. <laughs> Excited. Hello. Well, actually, I'm dying. I think if you weren't here, I'd be very tempted to run off. <laughs> Mr. Quartermain, I do so hope that you like our project. Well, we'll see. I'm known for my open mind. <laughs> you shouldn't call it our project, dear. Oh, but it really is. You've been wonderful. Without uh, you, I'd be nowhere. Do you know oh. she has offered the most wonderful ideas, and she has the best taste? <laughs> well, you work closely together, I see. Huh? Well, she calls me for advice. <laughs> We've become very good friends, haven't we? Oh, I, I do hope so. No, well, that's nice to hear, I must say. Well, as far as we're concerned, Mr. Quartermain, you are the person we want to impress the most, because you are the most important person here. <laughs> oh, <laughs> uh, I'm too modest to accept that compliment, <laughs> although it's probably true. <laughs> <laughs> well, speaking of modesty, Lucy still insists on calling it the Tanya Jones Daycare Center. Oh, well, of course I do. <laughs> These must be very sad days for your husband. Yes, indeed they must. Contrary to public opinion, I do have a heart. Well, they are. They're, they're sad days for me also. Um, I love Tony's brother, too. I do hope I didn't keep everyone waiting. Oh, here's Steve. Well, let's get started. Oh, what is Bobby doing here? She's not on the committee for this project. Good morning. Good morning. Well, we're all ready. Well, so uh, Steve, maybe I should be here. Nonsense. You're my guest. Are we ready? Yeah, yes, let's yes, move. Yes. Well, everybody, to the fourth floor. We're all set. We got it for you. All right. Well, Hey, Bobby. Uh, yes, Amy. Um, would you have a second when you're done? Sure. Why? Um, I wanted to talk to you about Scotty. Okay. All right. Well, you've seen the little napping room and the kitchen and the bathrooms, and this is the best I've saved for very last. Oh, isn't this attractive? Edward, isn't it charming? Yes, it is. I must admit it is. Lucy, Lucy, this is so nice. But then again, I have a personal stake in things. Oh, thank you very much. I really like your choice of colors. I do, too. Oh, thank you. You'll note we have a little sand table over here. And then we have, um, these are blackboards and easels. They double as both. And if you'll notice, they are very, very easy to clean. They're stain resistant, so it makes them very practical. Mm -hmm. I keep going on and on. If you have any questions... Questions, please feel free to interrupt. I do. Oh, really? How many children can you take care of here? Well, we can take care of ten children, and we can squeeze in twelve. It will depend on their ages, you know, but most of those children will probably spend their time in the nursery. Now, I have fact sheets right here that give you all that information. Oh, here you go. You can look these over, and I'm sure it'll be helpful. Thank you, Lord. Ten to twelve, ten to twelve, ten to twelve. This is the number of personnel you require. Yes, yes, it is. I'm afraid we have a problem here. You're looking at what I'm looking at, Edward? Yeah, I'm trying to figure well, out the cost per child. The, the cost per child? Yes, yes, it's very simple. You just take the total cost and divide it by the number of children you'll be handling. 
Yeah. Yeah, but you could send these kids to college based on my figures. Oh, I'm sure you're wrong, Edward. This is a stunning daycare center. Yeah. Well, thank you, Amanda. Thank you. I, uh, I agree with Edward on the cost per child. Mm. Me too. Oh, but, but, but Lucy's put her heart and her soul into this. Amanda, I suggest you look at these figures that I've written down here. Uh, as chairman of the board, uh, I can guarantee the board will not go along with this setup as it stands. Oh, dear, dear, dear. Edward, these figures are out of sight. And shouldn't we be able to accommodate some more children? I'm just thinking of the number of working mothers we have here at the hospital. Mm. I think you're right. Lucy, may I suggest that you go to every daycare center in the city or even the state and find out how they operate without going into the red? Yes, we can't uh, open up with this uh, situation as it stands. Uh, we'll be bled to death in eight weeks. Well, I have to be getting back to my office. Yeah, yeah, me too. Yeah, well, I'm a busy man too. Amanda, can I walk you to your car? Oh, thank you, Edward. I'm sure you'll take care of Bobby? Yes. You did this to me. Tony, you can't know what it was like. Lucy, it's going to be all right. It's not going to be all right. I was just so humiliated. I had all those people eating right out of the palm of my hand for the first five or ten minutes of the damn meeting. And Amanda Berenice, she was practically raving about all the work I'd done. She was really raving about well, it. Well, of course she was. Oh, yeah, but then Bobby had to put in her two cents and ruin everything. You don't know what it was like to stand in that room knowing that all those people felt so uncomfortable and just wanted to get the hell out of there. Amanda jumped on the bandwagon and Edward and Steve, they all started staring down. Oh, my work, all that work that I, I worked so hard to get done. Now, it, it, it sounds like they just want some readjustment, though. Oh, God, come on. It was a gang up. Steve and Bobby, as soon as I saw them coming in, I should have known they were out to sabotage well, Lucy, me. Lucy, Steve doesn't work that way. Well, Bobby Myers sure the hell doesn't. You can't tell me any different, Tony. Now, as soon as you calm down, I want to hear everything that happened, all right? I can't believe it. The minute I let down my guard, the very first time, what does Bobby do? She stabbed me right in the back. Well, I'm going to fix her, Tony. You see, don't you worry. I'll fix her good. Mm -hmm. <laughs>